I talk about it being halftime in America. We're a touchdown down. And I kind of like the idea of being a little bit behind. Uh, well, I'm yeah. looking at Coach Walls right now. <laughs> I'm looking at Coach Walls. That's what you're play for. Let's give it a shot, guys. Like I have white guy tacos and what like that black. Mean? Like mayonnaise and tuna? What are you doing? Pretty much ground beef and cheese. That's and, okay. Do yeah. you put any flavor in it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> no, they said to be careful and let her know this, that black pepper is the top of the spice level in Minnesota, you know. I'm the first yeah. vice president, pepper. I believe, who has ever grown That's chili pale. peppers. I'm well, trying know, to expand my, uh, my food knowledge. You know, we've it's got some cantaloupes. You'll be fine. Yeah. So... I called I was hoping you, Tim. Maybe we wouldn't have I this. called you, Tim. Yes. You didn't answer, Tim. I know. I know. The, uh, what happened? The most important call of my life. Tim, it popped no up, song. and we didn't recognize the uh, the caller sure, ID, and it went to uh, it went to voicemail. Hi, this is Jim. I'm not able to answer. There you go. Responsible. Thank you. Hey, Tim. It's Kamala. I really want to talk to you. <laughs> It is an amazing privilege for me also. Uh, I'm excited. I just want to be part of the excitement that you're generating. Well, so we're doing it together, buddy. It's fun. We're doing it together. How have these last couple of days been for you? I can see where the, the energy comes. America is a I'll hopeful country. Indeed. People are excited. In every one of those groups <laughs> of thousands sometimes. And I'm an extremist. <laughs> that was right on damn cue. That was right That's on cue. Right number two, y'all. I'm catching that mud. Hey, I'm telling y'all, bro. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I had to call him. Hey, that nigga that that kicked his foot up. Too old for to put these boys in a pack. It's over. No, that was yeah. funny. That was right on cue. He called me an extremist. And hey, man, I tried uh, to give him a shot. Bro. He got on my was, back. He like, looked at me. I said, he got sugar in his tank. He looked. <laughs> wasn't crazy. Tim Walls, bro, he looks old as hell. He's the same age as Brad Pitt. Bro, uh, he I looks tried old to get him a chance, bro. Hey, hold on, bro. That's three strikes. You, you, you might. You just married just to look for the image. You might be. He might be. Damn, he might be, he might be right, 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 bro. Oh no, bro, bro. He dapped his girl off. That's yeah, that's that's. that's 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 strike that's number one for me. The, the, the kicking of the leg. Nah, that's that strike right. number two. I ain't no, gonna I wanna lie. watch him do that again though. When he moved his head a little bit, that was strike number three to me. I ain't see that, bro. Hey. I'm just trying to listen. I see. I've seen see sugar. If they finna say any any type of policies or something, he put, that's what I'm he, he, put he put a fresh can of Sprite down his gas tank. All right, bro. <laughs> and see where the the energy comes. America is a hopeful country. Indeed. People are excited. In every one of those groups of thousands, sometimes over 10,000 people, you've seen exactly who we are as America. Yeah. People from rural areas, urban areas, of every stripe and size and background. This is who we are as America, and we're yeah. all in it together. Yeah. And in this campaign, the only way we win is to keep the pedal to the metal for these next many, many days that we have. So, Tim. <laughs> What's your relationship to music? Yeah. For me, <laughs> the transformational piece of music was Bruce Springsteen's The River. Okay. Which is a journey. You know you know all the tracks. Yeah. And, and, and I'm that guy. My first car, it's the summer 1980, been uh -huh. saving up. I buy a 1973 orange Chevy Camaro. Okay. Got an eight-track player in it. Oh, wow. Uh, Previous owner left Bob Seger's Night Moves in there. I listened to it. And it's kind of the soundtrack of my life of, so of uh, Detroit's own Bob Seger. But what's really great about this is I have a 79 International as my car. It's got an 8-track player in it. I have the very 8-track to this day. You're kidding no, me. Man, no. But how about you? I grew up, you know, so all born. these albums Tupac. here. I mean, Aretha. My mother had every Aretha, Aretha. album. <laughs> and like our Christmas lying gift to my mother, her birthday gift was always like, what's the latest Aretha Franklin record? So it's on on vinyl in your house like as a All of it. Wow. I'm gonna tell all you that and Stevie. I'm gonna show you and do then it. Miles and my dad no, loved jazz and so it was do. Miles, it was Coltrane, <laughs> one of my <laughs> personal <laughs> <laughs> favorite musicians for when I was younger. Copyright. Yeah, he already know that. He can't play for real. Did what she was listening to. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Did what you were listening to. You weren't listening to Aretha. 
Oh, read the Instagram. Stop. Hey, go lie. But if you can see what he typed in, if you can see what he typed in on the, I ain't even typing nothing crazy, bro. I just typed in music from India. Where you grew up, Indian? I ain't ain't gonna lie. You ain't black. And she's pandering. You ain't nothing. Aretha Franklin. She is not black. She could have told us her mama cooked chicken and waffles next. (laughs) She had a red dog. That and Stevie. And (laughs) then Miles and my dad loved jazz, and so it was Miles. It was Coltrane, one of my personal favorite she musicians for when I was Prince. younger, she was Prince. <sighs> and of course, Wait, from, your, from your oh, state. Yes. And, um, he, you know, in fact, I'll tell you, so my husband, Doug, and I, I'm more of a hip hop girl. Yep. He's more of Depeche Mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, but at the same oh, but time. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, you no, and no. he of like course. the same music. <laughs> of course. So. But Prince... You know, in the Venn diagram of things, Prince, he and I um, love the same. Because, I mean, yeah. talk about how Prince was with that guitar, man. Hey, yo, I almost know country. by heart every one of those songs. I, I feel Thank like a trip to Paisley Park is going to happen <laughs> here. If this it's happens, it's so. on my bucket list, uh, I'll good, tell good, you good. that. Tell me about your dad no. and his influence on you. Yeah. He served our country. You have served for our country for so many years. Yeah. I was 19. My little brother, I think, was eight, eight or nine uh, when he passed. He was a chain smoker, you know, oh. just just addicted. They got it, but he, Korean War era, and yeah. uh, that generation of men, pretty stoic. After he died, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, she became our rock, and mm-hmm. now she had to go out and get work because the medical bills broke her, and Social Security and Social yeah. Security survivor benefits. We're fine pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. We had no boots. Mm-hmm. That's the boots. And we, it's survival, we paid literally. It, back. it is yeah. survival. We all paid it back. So programs that are just fundamental to to keeping people from dropping into poverty, but to live with dignity. You keep talking about that. We got to help people get through a hard time. We can't have a country and and (coughs) policies that let people fall through the cracks. I love what you have done with your life. You were coaching a high school football team that was winless. Soccer. And oh. you came in, and, and so they were clearly oh, the underdogs. And it's a what team. happened? Yeah, yeah, it's a team, and I had great coaches with me, and we oh, were we friends, and so. we buckled down. And look, we it was a fairly big school, but nobody wanted to play because yeah. they hadn't won. And this group of coaches said, first and foremost, we got to we got to build the team. We got to go out and find people. So we invited them in, and I'll be honest: the first year we did not score a touchdown until the last <laughs> game of the year. We Soccer. got shut out in every game. My high score until Soccer. the final game was my defensive tackle because we got a safety in one game. Two years later, those kids won a state championship. That school has won several more since then right? after we left. You build culture. You build that's winning. Right. People want to be a part of it. And uh, yeah. that's the excitement. That's the excitement of what it can be. Oh, no. That's how I feel about our campaign. Yeah, Our campaign is the underdog campaign. Oh, yeah. And with so our joy, know, we also better, have to understand right? that we're still it, up yeah. against some forces. Just, just yes. That are trying to divide our country. It pains me the kind of division and and the stoking of divisions that has taken place, yes. right? And when we can remind people and create a, a space for everyone to come where they see each other That's and the say, magic. hey, you they're, know, they're we're getting, all in this together. It almost feels like everybody's coming out of their house after a blizzard and, you know, a Minnesota <laughs> reference, and you shovel out, and then you start talking to your neighbors. Yeah. How was it the last couple of days or whatever it might be? They're re-energizing, and they're mm-hmm. looking for their neighbors. We keep saying, you That's keep right. talking about the yeah. promise of America, and, and we say, take care of your neighbor. In the face of a stranger, when you're looking in the face of a stranger, you should see a neighbor, right? Yeah. Yeah. This nigga, does she think she's an analogy guy? She something? thinks she's a she thinks she philosopher. She thinks she's some people might think she's eating though. She thinks she's a philosopher. When you're brown, this is one of the you're dumbest black, philosophers nigga. of our time. <laughs> <laughs> when you're brown, you're black, nigga. That's the, that's how she's trying to hit the Aristotle. Like, what the hell is you talking about? You ain't no damn poet. <laughs> poet. Stop, bro. Damn. Edgar Allen. You trying to you trying to dare her? I just can't believe she's talking about. I grew up to Aretha. That is crazy. The, the picture lying. with the red dot on your head is kind of hard to believe. You but, feel black. But but we can't we can't really say that because you know she was in Oakland a little bit so you no, know bro, she grew up in Canada nigga, her bro. daddy went to Harvard and after she that up, it don't matter she was born in Oakland she grew up in Canada yo, so I mean years Harvard. she was in Oakland though bro yo she daddy went to Harvard though Canada and grew up and went to I think school he's a in professor Canada. at Harvard okay she went Even to crazy. K-12 in Canada but it's, it's just the Oakland part. It doesn't matter, the though. The Oakland save her a little we, bit. We get no caught up Oakland, on that again. It's it don't Oakland, matter. Oakland, California. That Y'all don't know matter. what Oakland, California The is. policies. University of London. University of California. I think her dad went to. 
There, yeah. Bro, she went to school in Canada. Bro, talking about Oakland. No, bro. She wasn't in Oakland. She was born in Oakland. All right, all right. Let's finish this, man. Let's finish this. Show. Your neighbor. In the face of a stranger, when you're looking in the face of a stranger, you should see a neighbor, right? Yeah. I'm about crying yeah. on this when you talk about, look, a, a girl That's from crazy. Oakland, California, and a, a guy from out in Nebraska right? on there. And the number of people I watch just kind of nod and break into a smile. This exploiting the differences, it can't last. I talk about it being halftime in America. We're a touchdown down because a lot of folks, it's easier to tear things down. It's yeah. easier to divide than it is to build. But once you start that momentum, once we come out and uh, where we're at right now, yeah. people want to be part of something that's winning. They want to be part of something that's good. And they want to be part yeah, of something that everybody can be a part of. And I kind of like the idea of being a little bit behind. Uh, well, I'm you know. looking at Coach Walls right now. <laughs> so I'm looking at Coach Walls. Did you always know you wanted to be an attorney? My parents met when they were active in the civil rights movement. Now, I grew up around a bunch of people that were, you know, marching and shouting for justice. And some of the heroes of that movement were the lawyers, Thurgood Marshall, yeah. right? They understood how to translate the passion from the streets to the courtrooms of our country. And they believed in the Constitution of the United States and the principles upon which it was founded. And that's where they then, in the courts of America, reminded us of the promise, right? And, and, and the ideals of our country, including equality, freedom, right? That's why I went to law school. But the other reason is when I was in high school, you ain't no my no best friend I learned was being molested by her stepfather. And when I, Realized what was happening. I told her, you have to come live with us. I called my mom. Mm. You know, I, I have to tell you, Tim, it was the first time that I realized how not everyone can take their safety for granted. Yeah. And what we should all feel is a sense of responsibility to protect people from harm. Yeah. So that's why I decided I want to be a prosecutor. Wow. And um, as a prosecutor, I, you know, I decided I want to be a prosecutor. I ain't going to lie. It's giving freak me. <laughs> oh, come on, oh, come on. Why you always got this? And what if it came out and it was like they figured they found a picture of her with Big Beach? <laughs> oh, I'm rolling. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie though. She did look good though. Hey, I see what Trump was saying. I mean, hey, she looking like my wife. She's a very beautiful woman. Prosecutor. Wow. And yeah, um, as a prosecutor. I, you know, I, I prosecuted homicide cases, I prosecuted a number of different types of cases, but I specialized in child sexual assault cases. And one of the things I did was create a whole unit dedicated to focusing on, on children who are being abused and to ensure that they have dignity in the process and justice. There's so much work that we still have to do to make sure that children have a voice. For me, that's kind of with me. Get in as a teacher. It, yeah. It's about the kids and wherever you teach. I, right. Once I had my own children, it became so clear to me, and I think it, I think it made me a really good teacher, yeah. that that child who came through the door was somebody's most special Absolutely. thing in their life. Thinking of a parent dressing their little one up and sending them you off to school no so kids. proud of them, I wanted to come through that door and just lift them up, that, that sense of service. It it's interesting, two different parts of the country, two different lived sorry. experiences, but all coming to that same goal of everybody yeah. getting a fair shot. Well, you know, I have to tell you, Tim, even though you and I grew up in different parts of the country, you remind me of the people I grew up with. In Canada. Hardworking folks. Plain speaking. <laughs> Pussies. People who know the difference between right and wrong. Yep. And care, love thy neighbor in, yeah. in the most Truly. authentic and true way. Yeah. Those are the folks I grew up with. And I know that's who you are. And, um, and I'm so glad we're doing this together. Well, I'm proud to be with you. It was a good PR move. I'ma keep it out. It wasn't bad. That shit know. was boring as hell. It was God. They, guess what? Guess they what? didn't talk about a policy. Not oh, one they, they, they single policy. Oh, they never policy. gonna do that. Oh, I don't expect that no more. Hey Tim, man. <laughs> I feel like we should do this for these people and this Damn. for these people. What do you think about the people who call you Tampon Tim? <laughs> I feel like I feel like the only policy I heard was give kids a voice. Yeah, that kind of messed me up. They, they was trying to get your good. emotions right there with that one. They was trying to get a nice tear jerker. Not from he us. He talking about uh, 1979. Cry me I a had river. An orange Chevy Camaro. I don't give a damn what you had, brother. I don't give a damn. Hit a kid to voice. Yeah, you had no motion in there. No, I ain't gonna lie. You had no baddies in your Camaro.
When he said after he left the program did, two years later, they won state championship. That says I don't a, think he said he left. That man. says he a said, lot. He said no, they won a state championship after and then he that, left. But don't yeah. be extreme. Keep it in the hundred. I thought he said when he, he left said two, two years, years later, later they, they won. won after he sucked. He said they won. He was there when they won, and then after he left, they still won. On tacos, music, right. and, but the, still, and the future no of cares. America, and it's in Minnesota. They don't play no real football out there. When they one football player from Minnesota, I wait. Like, do this nigga, like, do Kamala think she's Shakespeare or some shit? She thinks she's Aristotle. To be what you have not, to be have what you, what have, you been. have been. Some shit, I don't know. She thinks to she's be Scott Fitzgerald or some shit. Like, she what just you've some... been, but not thou art. <laughs> <laughs> to be. She always it started say, with nah. to be. It starts with to be. They. To be. From the past to the from future. From the past does not define. Not be so. have we, we have they. Be, I don't even know how she be saying that. <laughs> you think you just <laughs> fell off a coconut we went, tree? We went. We went. We went. We went. We went. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, man, uh, that was boring. Yeah, uh, I don't. I'm a ham up now. Uh, you will never feel different. Why you, sandwich. Could, why you couldn't eat it cold? <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> why you couldn't eat the sandwich cold? I was like, to give me my money. All yeah, right, guys, let us know what y'all think about it this. Was. <laughs> <laughs> we all just turned. <laughs>